Welcome back to GTR. My name is Mark, and this is another unboxing. And today, we're looking at The King's Will. Uh, as you can hear by that thump, this is a relatively hefty game in a mm, smallish package. Now, uh, full disclosure, I purchased this game from kind of my local game store. Local to me. Um, I purchased this solely because it was massively on sale. Okay, uh, so I really and I didn't even research the game all that much. I just saw that it was like <laughs> I, I couldn't pass it up. It was so cheap. So, anyways, I don't know much about the game. It, from the look of it, it's pretty generic. The King's Will in a picture of a crown. Uh, the back of the game doesn't show you, or the back of the back of the box doesn't show you a whole lot in terms of what we're looking at here. Uh, but the King's Will. Uh, the players assume the role of the dukes whose palaces the king is visiting. Uh, they try to find out what the king's current will is and climb up in his favor while they're steadily enlarging their duchies. Uh, after four rounds, the player who proves himself to be the best in meeting the wishes of the king will win the game. Now, I'll say that I am by no means swayed by a game that is generic uh, and doesn't have is not dripping with theme. It may not be the most gorgeous. That does not sway me from enjoying a game. I don't know what this looks like. I don't know what the gameplay is like. The fact that the theme might be overdone it does not matter to me. I will play a game and enjoy it, even if I've played other games like it. I may not always play it. It may not stick around uh, forever. I mean, listen, don't get me wrong. I, I, I like collecting games. I don't get rid of games. I don't call games. Uh, I expand. I keep them around. Uh, this may not get played forever, but it's, it's definitely going to stick around. I don't get rid of games. I don't get that whole. Uh, I don't get that whole thing about getting rid of games. They're all. They're all nice CDs. They're all precious. All right, let's let's fire this open and take a little lucky poo, shall we? And what we got inside. All right. Ooh, box opens nice. Not too firm, but not too soft. You know. Uh, one thing is terraforming Mars. That's the worst one. That'll come open with a, a small breeze. And the box fits together nicely. Uh, okay, so right off the top here, we have got the rule book. We've got multiple rule books. We've got a lot of paper here. Uh, so we've got German rules, f French rules. Oh, no, no. Oh, sorry. English rules, German rules, English glossary, German glossary. So let's take those. No offense to anyone that's German. I can't read it. Uh, I'll just keep these in the box. Uh, bag of baggies as per usual. All right, we have some very bland. Let's just take a little zoomy poo in here. We've got some very bland looking uh, pieces. Let's fire these open. We have some, I'm guessing these are the knights or the bishops or whatever. Um, Let's do, uh, oh, there you go. Take a little looky poo. I mean, nice and smooth though. They feel pretty smooth. Uh, so there's those. There's these little H's or iron blocks or houses or castles. Maybe they're castles. Forgive me of my ignorance. I have not played the game. Uh, and some yellow cubes, some gray cubes, some brownishy cubes, um, and those. Castle iron block H's things. Um, we have another bag of some squigglies. I'm guessing these might be uh, churches, monasteries, or something. That thematically, that would only make sense. Yeah, these look like churches, churches and houses, and we've got colored circles. Blue, yellow, black, gray, and whatnot. So there are the pieces. There's the bag of pieces uh, that you're getting. Not the most colorful, kind of bland, but I don't care. Maybe you do. But let's see. A uh, little pack of cards here. You know what? I don't really know. I don't know how I feel about this. Actually, and I do know how I feel about this. I really love this. This little sleeve that just slides right off. I think when decks are fully encased in that uh, shrink wrap, 
I've almost cut my hand off a number of times trying to open those. So I appreciate that little sleeve. Uh, so let's take a look here. We have, uh, let's get you, let's get you a looky poo here at these. So here's the cards that you're dealing with. You've got some, it, it's not, the design is not going to blow you away here by any means. It, but it looks like you've got some pretty solid symbology here. I don't know if these are score points or scores. So yeah, so these are look like those little buildings equal four. Um, these must be various uh, game conditions, victory point condition things that you can set up uh, throughout the game. Single sided. These are single sided, and these are what are these? There's four of them, and the game is for two to four players. So these must be kind of your reference card. Or not. I have no idea. No, I don't know what these are. But there's four of them. These are different. Oh, here we go. These must mean things. <laughs> uh, anyways, those are your cards. Let's take a look at what else is in the box, shall we? Let's come back out here. Uh, we have this. Okay, so we're dealing with some thick paper. This is not cardboard. Uh, so you have this kind of track. Uh, be aware that that's thin. Uh, this is also the same uh, thinness. I feel like this is going to warp. Hmm, interesting. Uh, usually this is cardboard, so that's mm, something. Uh, the colors aren't amazing. Oh, those are are those fours? I'm not sure what exactly those. are. Are. I think that's a four. And these don't seem to have any difference. You got another flimsy piece of paper here. Um, you've got a lot of stuff going on here. You've got uh, some numbers here. These must be the actions or whatnot that you take. A bit of a track here. Uh, but flimsy. That's interesting. I wouldn't have expected that. Uh, but here we've got some cardboard. Okay. Oh, and they didn't wrap the cards, but they wrapped the cardboard. Okay. No problem. Pull out the old knifey poo. Take a little look. See if we can get inside here. Yeah, there we go. Did I get an edge? Did I get a... Oh. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, got it. Ah, and I, I was impressed with the cards. I don't know why they wrapped the cardboard, though. You can't win, you can't get everything. You can't impress everybody, right? Okay, so we have some... More of that font that's hard to read. Whatever. Um, so we've got one board like this. Uh, here we go. This is all, this is all right, though. Here's some... Are these... Okay, so I don't know. I think these are double sided with the. Okay, so this is German. They are the same. They got the same symbols on them, but you know this says building, crane, warehouse, monument. So uh, double sided. That that's interesting. That's fine. Um, some more stuff here. More building tiles in German. Okay, here's the English. Cart residence, console hall, tithe cellar, school. Barn, fair, in. I mean, thematically, I love I love fantasy. Anything that's fantasy genre, fantasy novels and whatnot, I love it. So I'm interested to see how this plays out. There's a lot of stuff going on here. So I'm curious to see what we are dealing with um, on this one. More of these type of symbols, more of these. There's a lot of those charts. Some more buildings. Uh, the tannery, the bakery, the church, the smithy, the roadhouse, the abbey, the peon house, the poor house, the weekly market. Um, here, let's punch one of these out. You know how you can usually tell what's... You can usually tell one side is the front side and what side's the back side. So, it, it, it's inconsequential, but you can tell that the uh, English side is the back side, so it feels like the tiles are kind of... Upside down. Again, that's pedantic and doesn't mean anything. It's just 
keep that in mind. That I feel like that's going to be something where you're always going to be looking to see like if it's the Germans. I feel like they're naturally going to end up on the German side. I, which is fine. I'm just saying you might be constantly flipping this around. It doesn't look like it matters what the word says, though. Whatever the symbol is. And then another page of this stuff. Um, and that is it. Uh, all right, guys. Thanks for watching another GTR unboxing. If you're interested in seeing how this game plays or interested in seeing us play it, let me know down in the comment section below. Until next time, peace. Thank you.